The European Year is uh, the time to come forward with an action plan. The most important accomplishment will not just be the awareness about the fact that we need skills. It's to try to instill in people the need to go train themselves, to long life learning. It's about making a statement that skills investment and upskilling, reskilling um, is really the biggest challenge ahead of us to ensure that we've got a productive workforce, uh, a happy workforce, a healthy workforce and one that is fit for the future. The World Economic Forum is leading a 10-year project on the reskilling revolution. We started in 2020 with the goal to reach a billion people with better skills, better education by 2030. We have reached 350 million people and I hope that working with the partners that were present here will be able to make a much bigger dent in the next few years. For me, the event here today has been proven really fascinating. Um, I think you have a number of stakeholders who would never normally be in a room together. Why we have to bring in reskilling and upskilling into your normal life, professional life cycle. This is about the way in which society needs to change. This is the one topic that can bring us all together. But uh, the skills dimension has a strong link with the quality uh, of the job offer. Learning doesn't stop. The learning bucket should never be full. It's worth going to a training. It's necessary to develop yourself. So here it's really to get a mind shift, to get everybody to think differently. Europe needs a skills revolution and it needs it now.